Hello and welcome back everyone to a brand new episode of Civilization 6 Rise and Fall here with me Sneaky Bard. We are playing as Scotland, trying to see how we fare on immortal difficulty against the AI. So far, it's more the rule sets that are uh, biting us in the behind rather than the AI. Because, well, all of our cities, no, half of them, are in rebellious mode. I think we can deal with Dundee once this warrior moves in there. Your people settle too close? Um, well, sorry, my people settle where they please. Uh, and Delhi. Excuse me? What's your problem exactly? Doesn't say. You just randomly insulted me. Apparently, I'm not uh, religious enough, I assume. Because she was talking about heaven and dirt. Yay! Classical era will end. Um, so we will get another... Another Dark Age, if I read this correctly. Yes. Alright. So what happens here? Dundee is losing loyalty. Because loyalty dropped to zero. Delhi rebelled. Okay. We'll just take Delhi back and figure out how we do things that way. You move here, because we need you to be there in that city too. Alright. Now you have full loyalty, you can go on alert mode. Here we go. Once those walls are finished, we'll also start to build a round of catapults because I think one other way of getting rid of this loyalty issue here that we have is basically trying to conquer these big cities because that's why they're pushing, uh, putting so much, uh, what do you call it, like, descent um, yeah basically we've got this pressure from nearby cities the pressure is so high I think because they've got these big cities nearby and apparently Brazil has three cities here as well that can put uh, pressure on us whereas if we look at our own cities sorry there's only two that put pressure forward that's Glasgow and that's Dundee. Both of them are wee wee cities compared to these other ones. So that's where our issues come from. We're also trying to build a government plaza here. You can only build one, if I read this correctly, and it gives like plus eight loyalty here. So I want to put it here smack dab in the middle of somewhere where it can. Oh, thank you. Uh, can actually help us more than say in Glasgow even though the special buildings you can put there are apparently super super nice so maybe we should you know try and build it Rejoice. ASAP our dark age has ended our dark and our age. civilization is on a path towards an even brighter future okay our next golden age will be glorious indeed wealth consists not in having okay. one man's might. nice we got lots of stuff Okay, many dispute the actual start of the classical era, but you know it was when Scotland discovered currency. Fair enough. Got one, plus one era score. Alright. All our units got booted out of the city. So what I'm going to do here is have you move up. Wow. You got booted up, like, in a very weird fashion. Like, we got booted all the way into, into Brasilia. Well, we discovered shit that way. That's good. Alright. You move like this. And uh, wait. You move here like this. You start moving like this. We need to... I'm trying to surround the city as quickly as possible. So that India cannot move in here and do all sorts of shenanigans. Uh, and capture the city before we can. So have you move up here. You, where did I, w oh yeah, we wanted to put you on the wheat here. Because that way the city grows quicker and we, we desperately need that. You move here and you there. You can be on alert mode. 
Make a dedication. Alright. The world has entered the medieval era. Fair enough. Uh, okay, we are still in a dark age, apparently. So, awesome. Uh, yeah, we might go for free inquiry, actually. Trying to get that era score. Whenever we, we get a Eureka, that would be nice. And let's see, what did we... We wanted to go for a round of catapults. Even though this city is building them quite slowly. We could buy a builder here as well. That way you would grow quicker. There we go. You have not enough housing apparently. Alright. So what are we going... Oh yeah, you guys. If we start bopping you... Then think ship. Oh, nice! We got a promotion on that guy. He didn't quite manage to kill it. Almost though. All right, you're moving like that. So good. That means we can move here. Something like that. Yeah. Sound sounds fair. Okay. We can still surround Delhi. That's that's the good thing. Although we need to do it in nine turns. Oh dear. Okay. Nice. You managed to kill that guy. Oh, my troops are merely passing by. And that's actually the truth. We're, we're going to remove them from your borders as quickly as we can. So you could move here. That means you can't shoot from there. But you could move like this. Like this. And you can just fortify until healed. You can... Wait, do I want to give you a promotion? Yes. So let's give you battle cry. And that means you can go here. You can probably start bombarding this city. Yes, you can. I mean, this city gets just getting smaller and smaller as well. Because we keep having to reconquer it. Which means the lower it's like citizen population is, the... Yeah, the um, less pressure it exerts. You skip your turn, please. You can start shooting as well. Even though now it has the 30 defense, which means that it's much harder to get rid of using uh, our poor little archers here. So there... You are very close to founding your city here. So let's see. If we found it... Hmm. Yeah, no. Here is not good, apparently, anymore. Because it would be minus 12. Let's see. What? No, government. Sorry. Here. We'd get plus 2 loyalty per turn for cities with a garrison unit. Plus 8 for a... Governor, that's plus 10. Ugh. I mean, the closest we could do is like here. I'm not a big fan of that placement either. Here, this would do it, but only with a governor. Hmm. I mean, this is also our Petra city, technically. So, yeah. Interesting. How are we going to deal with this? Like Brasilia is way too close. Ex all these Brazilian cities technically are way too close and are exerting all forms of pressure that we don't want them to exert. Hmm. Let's see. Because I mean, putting you here would put you out of range of any form of pressure. But we need to build one city closer to Delhi, I think, so that we can start exerting pressure there. But I think that's just plain impossible. Hmm. I mean, I swear this this was previously, you know, 
a good spot to build a city, but apparently no longer. Hmm. I mean, this is apparently also a good recommended location. We could do like two campuses or whatever. Let's let's build it on the recommended location and then expand a governor on there. Cause like what happens here with Aberdeen? Let's see. No. Aberdeen. Toggle city details. We have eight from the governor, so we do need the governor here. When do we get our next governor? Do we get a governor from you? Open civics tree? Hmm. No. We do not. We'd get one from defensive tactics though. Or theology. But that would require all sorts of shenanigans. That... Well, not all sorts of shenanigans necessarily, but it would require a lot of research. Unless, yeah, require us to research two things prior. Wait. Yeah, this would be, so it would be, do we want drama and poetry and recorded history? Which, this would actually be nice, but defensive tactics, I like that as well. Especially for, up oh, wrong button. For these like the bastions and everything and where does it go to it goes to feudal ah but we want to go to civil service as quickly as possible so perchance do something like this wrong click all right good so we'll get those governors it will just take us a bit of time and we'll just have to you know keep reconquering delhi every so often I'm not going to put a governor down there though, because it's just not going to be worth it. Alright. And we'll just have to buy some tiles here, I think. Okay, that's where the Indian army is coming from. Oh, coming to... Okay, we are getting Catholicism here. Alright, you can start shooting as can you you can start going here you can heal you can start shooting you can move the top here anyone else that ha you haven't shot yet and eight turns towards India probably you can just you know skip your turn you can shoot here all right uh, well the good thing here is we're racking up tons of XP for our units which I think is probably something that might need to be looked at maybe Okay, let's try and get get some stuff going on here. So you move here. Found that city. What's that city? Scone. Okay. Or Scone. Depending on where you come from. Alright. Do we want... Well, I'm going to be biased towards ancient walls because of wars and shit. I do want those walls up. And governor... Liang, just go to here. Yeah. That way, this goes up. And what would that do to? No. Ah, this menu needs to be made better. I don't want to go to a city to view a map lens mode. I want it to be up here. All right. So now pressure from here, pressure from here. Shouldn't you be exerting some form of pressure as well? Because. Let's count tiles. Like, what? Or are you saying you're only exerting... No, that can't be true. I mean, you should be exerting pressure. If Glasgow is exerting pressure all the way up here, then so should you. That just seems to be making sense to me. Put you on alert mode. Put you on alert mode. And next turn. Okay. We have a desert city, apparently. 
Oh, and then Petra. We'll get to Petra. Yeah, let's... That's actually what we might be doing next, is not only get the Petra here, but start... Oh. Ignore the request, but not be impolite about it. Alright. So, here. Nice. Good. We get a new... New um, thingy here. Wow, did they change all of this? I thought... Wait, all... What does it say? All land melee anti-cavalry... Okay. Yeah, I was thinking I usually always go with oligarchy for this because it's so awesome in wartime, so... Let's take it. And you're definitely going to be a wild card slot. And... Yeah, let's just go do something like this. All right, Q Leo. I think that should do it. Nice. Cool. We got plus two error score. I know. Why are you showing me this? Good. Thank you. All right. How much do we actually need to get out of the stupid uh, dark age? Uh, one more error score. So that that's also going to help deal with all of these problems. Um, let's buy some tiles because this city's tile thingy is not that good. Okay, in 32 turns here. Could let's at least get the copper, and this will just grow grow there naturally. But we're not going to wait for that. Are we? We could settle you here right next to the White Cliffs of Dover, to be honest, and I'd be happy to do that. Let's start here with another catapult. Definitely want that catapult. Wonder what's here. We haven't really explored that far. I'm definitely going to plot you down there. That way you're outside any city influences and whatnot, so I don't have to worry about you. And once your library is done, we will go for catapults here too. I want like a huge number of them, like five. That way I can get these walls down quick. And the, after that we will have to look at some like good melee units that are not like warriors and shit. Uh, let's put you into sleep mode. Because like, have we even uncovered bronze working? Did I go that way? No, we haven't yet. It's sort of next on our to-do list all right here we go okay you should be able to get this city now there you go nice all right so let's now keep the city and try and build a government plaza. Maybe it will work this time. Rebellion in four turns. Because of what exactly? Let's see. Like there's... No, I don't want the stupid religion. I want to toggle the city for loyalty and governors. Loyalty per turn fallen. Uh, minus 15. It starts with 50. Okay, so that's that's fairly okay. Okay, now there's three cities putting influence in here. I think, is that the plus two other effects? Because, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. We'll just have to, you know, keep, keep trying to... Uh, to reconquer Delhi. Maybe even allow it to, you know, be a free city while we conquer Patna and Agra with our army of catapults. Hopefully. Not that the catapults are, like, that great, even. Where's, like, you're taking ages to get there. So you go here. You go here. All right. I did have the timer on? Yes, I did. Good. But we're nearing the end of the episode. So, let's see here. 
Uh, Korea pillaged a mine with a knight. All right, that's My the end of the episode. We have an envoy at our disposal. Ooh, good. Uh, we don't have. S we haven't met any city states. Shame on me. I thought this war with India would have gone better, and we just kind of got bogged down into it. Let's have you do something like this. Alright, alert mode. Alert mode. You can heal. Ah, I wish there was some other way of, you know, keeping you loyal. You. Get that, so that Dundee grows in size quicker. Alright, then we can buy the bananas here. And that should be something that goes to scone or scone. Hmm, what else? Alright, you, if you go for the bananas, you can go for these bananas. And I'm going to buy that tile directly. There you go. And what? You be in alert mode. Just going to settle this city and then calling it an episode. So this doesn't go drag on and on and on like the previous one. But the, the one more turn syndrome is real. That much I can tell you. Brazil should love us. We're becoming like their religion and everything. Wow, there's a Korean scientist. <coughs> Sorry, but you can't capture these like you used to. Like, I think that was Civ 4 we could capture scientists. Hey, we got our library finally. Let's get another catapult going. You build a banana improvement here. And then you settle here. There we go. Nice, we got plus three error school. So now, now we are definitely out of this whole dark age loop. So that's good. You can also go for the walls. Even though that takes such a long time. Actually, well, there's no real difference between a builder and walls. So let's go for the walls. I can always buy the builder. Alright. Which warrior... God damn it, these misclicks. Let's have you go here. Doesn't really matter if it rebels in one turn or not. Okay. Let's have you stay on alert. Yeah. I really don't like how this city keeps rebelling. We probably should just, you know, um, leave it be. But, yeah. We'll see. It's at least a good point, a uh, good place to farm XP and whatnot for the units. Like, we've gotten level 3 archers already because of it, which is kind of nice. I'll also save up money for a builder, so I can buy a builder here and... There we go. Delhi is once again a free city. So we will just bop these guys, hopefully. Of that one guy and then retake the city but that will all have to wait for the next episode Scotland is is growing even though I think we're a bit sandwiched in here between India and Brazil but once we get our army of catapults up we should be having an easier time with the fortifications here and hopefully if we can take Patna and Agra the whole oh there's you know too many foreign civilizations exerting pressure on you thing will go away. Otherwise, I don't know how to really do these conquests, but we will figure it out. This is a blind let's play after all, so this is all about figuring out how the new rules work. As always, thank you for watching, you've been absolutely awesome. And if you did like the episode, do remember to give it a like and to subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye.